Maganda no maga mayong buntaket good morning my friends. My mother and I are already in the Philippines. And we are doing well now, but the last three days have been very, very difficult for us and we have received a lot of stress. Something happened to us that I feared the most and that I tried to avoid with all my might, but I failed. Thank God it's over and now I can safely tell you about it. Our trip to the Philippines started very well. We do not eat now what lies ahead of us, what huge difficulties we will have to face and how hard it will be for us on this trip. But in the meantime, we say goodbye to our family with our pets and go to the train station to get on the train to Moscow. Get to the airport there and board our plane. Hello guys. We are in the, our train, in our coupe, and we are going to Moscow, and uh, now I will show you our, our place here. This is our coupe, this is mom's bed, here is my bed, we have fruits, tea, snacks, water and television and also we have toilet now we will drink tea and go to sleep and guys See you tomorrow in Moscow. My mother and I were in a very good mood, looking forward to the upcoming trip. I thought that we would transfer it quite easily, because I have already flown to the Philippines several times and generally tolerated air travel well. But this time everything went completely differently, but more on that later. The train ride was just wonderful. We lay comfortably, slept well, had breakfast and went for a walk around Moscow. It was quite cool in Moscow and a strong wind was blowing which just penetrated us to the bone. So we just walked around the city a little, rode new electric river trams, looked at Moscow sites, ate delicious food at Russian McDonald's Kusna at Tochka.
We walked around Red Square, looked at the Moscow shops and went to the airport. When we were in Moscow, we didn't feel very well even then. We had a sore throat, a constant cold and felt a little weak. We thought it was a common cold, which is very common at this time of year. And we hoped that it would all go away very quickly and we would recover. But in the end, it turned out to be more serious than a common cold. We were getting worse and worse by the hour, but we still hoped that now we will sit at the airport, get warm and everything will be fine. Guys, we are here in Aeroport Airport, waiting for our flight registration. We are very, very tired and still need four, five hours to our flight. Five, six hours. And now it was time for our first flight. We got seats in very tail and they were very uncomfortable, very cramped and it was very hot on the plane. We had to fly 6 hours to Abu Dhabi. Friends, I want to tell you now in more details about this flight from Moscow to Abu Dhabi. We got very uncomfortable seats, the plane was constantly shaking in turbulence and my mother and I were very seasick. In addition, we were getting worse and worse from our illness and we suffered this flight very hard. Mom was flying on a plane for the first time so it was even harder for her. We did everything possible to somehow improve this flight. We often got up and walked around the cabin, but still it didn't help much. After a while, our neighbor in the third seat moved away from us and my mother had a place to lie down and rest a little. But it was still very uncomfortable and difficult for her to fly. On top of that, our flight was delayed, so the pilot was descending very quickly for landing, which made us even more seasick. Our airs hurt from the pressure drop and we began to feel even worse. That's how we arrived in Abu Dhabi. In Abu Dhabi my mother's blood pressure had already started to rise and I also began to feel much worse. We spent a couple of hours at Abu Dhabi airport and boarded a plane to Manila hoping that at least there we would be at least a little comfortable. But our expectations were not met. They put us back at the end of the plane, where the shaking is very strong, and we had even less free space than before. But this time we had to fly for 9 hours. Of course it was very hard especially for mom. I want to say that it was my mistake. I decided not to choose convenient places in advance in order to save a few hundred dollars. That's why we got some of the worst seats on the plane at check-in. 
I wish I had spent more money, but I bought good, comfortable seats in the front rows of the plane in advance, where there is more space. Then I wouldn't have to put my mom's health at risk. How glad we were when the lights of Luzon Island began to appear far below. And when we flew up to Manila, my mother constantly told me to see how beautifully the lights of the big city shine. At the same time, we were very glad that we had finally arrived in the Philippines and were very tired and exhausted from the hard road and illness. We spent about an hour at the airport, picked up our luggage and went to check into the hotel. We thought that the hardest time was behind us. And now we can relax and enjoy life in the Philippines. But we didn't even guess what kind of test awaited us ahead. What I feared the most and what I tried to avoid was waiting for us. But it happened and it was my fault. I'll tell you the details in one of the following video, guys. Salamat for watching. See you soon, guys. Ingat.